Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today I'm going to walk you through Switch Miner, a little gem that I found on the internet that I think would help you out uh, with your day to day stuff. So, uh, I'll just jump right into it. I'll skip all the preamble nonsense. So, here's the website, Switch Miner. It's uh, switchminer.sourceforge.net. Let me just bring that down a little bit. There you go. Now you should be able to see that. Uh, and what it does is it'll use SNMP to scan your switch and it'll actually create uh, an Excel spreadsheet type file or a CS CSV file of whatever it finds on that switch. So uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just go ahead and download it. I'm going to show you my, there you go, my Explorer. And when you download them, you're going to download uh, the GUI, which is what I'm going to show you first. And then there's a console, which I'm going to show you secondly. And basically they're two zip files. You just unzip them. And when you unzip them in the GUI, there's the executable right there. And you just basically just double click on that and it'll just launch right up. And there you go. So I'm going to type the IP of my switch just to show you how quick this thing is. I'm going to leave everything alone on default and hit go. Uh, and you need a community string. Oh, there you go. So that's good to know. So it's going to prompt you for that. You're going to type it in public. And obviously on production networks, I don't suggest you have public. This is just the lab. And it's a 3750 switch, and it just went, it just got everything off that switch, which is pretty neat. So it's going to get the interface name, any descriptions that you happen to put in on that port, which is good to know. If that port's up, the speed, so on and so on. It's all pretty uh, straightforward stuff. Now, the cool bit is at the end here, and it tells you the MAC address and or IP of what it finds. Uh, it does a OUI lookup, those first three bytes of the MAC address, and it tells you the manufacturer, in case you really don't know what it is, it's a pretty good hint as to figure it out. But if you want to fill it in even more completely, you can do a ping sweep, if you'd like. Uh, and then the other thing is a discovery. So you can actually do uh, a discovery and it'll scan for any CDP neighbors, so any other devices running Cisco Discovery Protocol which may not be Cisco by the way there's a lot of other devices that use CDP uh, and it'll give you a um, a better view of your network so I'm going to show you what that looks like and hit discovery just just to add on to this I'm going to hit go and when you do that it's kind of neat it'll actually build uh, separate tabs at the top of the page so you can see it added Brian it found a switch called Brian it found a switch called Stewie as well so it just added more tabs to the list which is kind of neat so that's the GUI part of it. I'm not going to beat this to death because you can figure the rest out on your own. Oh, uh, one thing. If you do add a router IP, obviously the community string has to be correct. Secondly, it all depends on what's in the router's tables. So if your router has a huge amount of entries in there, it may take a while for it to scan the actual router MIB, right? So if you ever put the router in there and it takes a long time, it's because of everything that's in your router. So I always leave this till the end if you want to use that to fill in more blanks uh, with your discovery. All right, so now off to the console. Console is a command line tool, which is pretty slick. Does pretty well the same thing. I'm just dir. You can see a list here, and there's sm. I'm just going to type that, and it prompts you for all the options. So I'm going to do sm dash s for switch 10.44 10.37, and enter. So I didn't type in the public community string. Do you notice that? And off it went to the races and it just created an Excel spreadsheet. It's done. That's how quick it is. So I'm going to go back to my Explorer console and there's the file it created. It's the IP of my switch dot XLSX. Click click and Excel launches. Let me drag that back into frame here for you. And you can see it's pretty well everything that you saw on that screen. So that's kind of slick. Um, the big thing that I was trying to figure out myself is what do you do if your community string is not public because obviously it didn't ask me for that. If you look at all the options here there is no SNMP option right uh, but it's an easy fix in the uh, sm.conf config file you open that up in notepad and when you open that up basically it says default SNMP community string and there it is so you can change that to whatever it happens to be on your network. So I'm not suggesting you turn SNMP on everything and leave it on all the time. I'm suggesting if you need to do an inventory, you can turn SNMP on for a little bit, scan them, get your inventory, and then take SNMP off. If you do want to leave SNMP on, well then one, please don't use public. Uh, the second thing is you might want to put uh, on Cisco specifically, put an access list on other switches and maybe call a filter. And that way only certain devices can query your switches with SNMP as well. So that's it. Hope that helps. Have a good day.
Bye for now.